he makes a lot of jokes during class. Uh, my favorite topic was everything about Gandhi. How witty he is. He always comes up with these cl clever little things to say and do. And so I really appreciate that. My favorite thing about Mr. Hornsty is Mr. Hornsty's review games. Uh, they're fun to play and a good way to learn the topic before a test. I got lots of favorites about Mr. Hornsty. Probably the biggest, and I don't think the students get the opportunity to see this as much as what perhaps some of the staff things do, is uh, his sense of humor. He actually, when we were in different meetings together, we were on the same team together for a full decade, 10 years, and uh, he was our team leader. And uh, it was his sense of humor that uh, just really kind of kept us all together. And uh, basically through any of the situations, he just was a, a guiding light for us. But uh, he's got a great way of looking at reality and taking everything in stride probably much better than I do. And just all around excellent. Time at DeKalb Middle School, and I hope you have a great time at your new job. Um, well, I commend you for working here for 30 years, and I wish you all the best in the future. So. I'd like to say to Mr. Hardesty, thank you for your 33 years of being a teacher, and especially thank you for the 30 years of teaching at DMS. Just to thank him for his time, his concern, and his caring for our school. I remember when he used to teach LA and was with us. You know, he's so flexible and never complains and gripes, and he truly cares about his students, and that means so much to me. So thank you, Mr. Hardesty, for all of your time. I think he already realizes how much uh, I appreciate everything he's always done for the school, for me being a member of his team, uh, for having the opportunity to work with him. Uh, he was here when I first started, and uh, kind of acted as a little bit of a mentor to me. Uh, you probably wouldn't realize that by looking at my age in comparison to that youthful soul that he is. Uh, but uh, I've truly enjoyed every bit of time I've always gotten to spend with Mr. Hardesty. Actually, one of the hardest things I've done is when I left here at the middle school a number of years ago to work over at central office for a bit, was not having the opportunity to work for him for a bit. And I got to realize how much I really did enjoy his company, his insights, uh, the way he looks at things here at the school, uh, the way he deals with the students, and how helpful he is to all the rest of us. If, I don't know if you really understand the full impact you've had on all of us, but you truly, truly will be missed. Uh, first of all, if you're watching this interview, whether you've been here for the entire 30 years that I've been at DeKalb Middle School, uh, like Mr. Friels and uh, Ms. Rourke and uh, Ms. Marlowe, or whether this is your first year here, or some combination of years in between, I want to say thank you. Because you are part of my experience here at DeKalb Middle School, and I have many great memories uh, of this school and my service here, and um, you are responsible for that. And I'd like to leave you with the words of a famous uh, Chinese philosopher named Confucius who lived uh, in China at 500 BC. He said, wherever you go, go with all your heart. Which means, of course, whatever you do, do the best you can. Give it 100% of your effort. And I told you the story of the 1994 track team uh, that followed that advice to win a conference championship and they succeeded. Now you may not be involved in track or sports and you may not win every contest and meet every goal, but at least if you give 100% all the time, you will succeed more often than you fail. So wherever you go, go with all your heart. And if you should see me along the way, please say hello. I'll be happy to return the greeting. Until then, farewell.